take flight on the airship Genesis and join in the legendary Bible adventures of the Genesis Exploration Squad. Cameron! Gabby! Logan! Wyatt! Emma! And our pet monkey, Jules! <laughs> Five incredible adventurers entrusted with an airship that can take them anywhere in the world, powered by a special Bible that also opens pathways to the past. There is no telling where they will end up on their search for history's legendary artifacts. And then, of course, there is me, their trusty AI companion, Rupert. Welcome aboard. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, you all right, Cam? I'm just so excited. I mean, aren't you ready to see what part you got in the church nativity play this year? As long as I'm at the camel's backside again, I'll be happy. <laughs> I don't know. It was pretty entertaining last year when the camel's backside walked right off stage. Highlight of last year's performance. Hey, you can't see where you're going in that costume. I just, I just hope I finally get to play Joseph. I nailed my audition. I, I know it. Oh, there's what's brewing with the list. Oh, yes. oh, hello, children. Please come forward to find your role in this year's Rocket Cove Church Christmas Nativity Play. There were hard choices to make. Yes, tears were shed, some of yours may be too, but the decisions had to be made. I look forward to seeing you at rehearsals, and remember, you are no longer just boys and girls. No, you're actors and actresses of the great stage. Oh, I can't look. I'll do it, Cam. Let's see. Cameron, Cameron. Oh, you got wise man number one. Yes! Wait, what? Wise man number one? Uh, not again! If it makes you feel any better, Logan and I will be playing wise men two and three. That's great, Wyatt. I'm just always some wise man. You just carry in some strange gift and boom, your part is done. I mean, who gives gold to a baby anyway? Well, looks like I got a uh, bearded innkeeper with monkey. Huh? What? Ho -ho! Well, at least Jules is excited about it. Hmm, let's see. Oh, I'll be playing Mary. <laughs> Lucky. Oh, come on, Cam. Cheer up. Hot cocos on me. Jules, we've been practicing for weeks. <sighs> There's no room at the inn. Like that? <sighs> <sighs> There's no room at the inn. Yeah. Places, <laughs> places, great thespians of the stage. It's time to carry on with the dress rehearsal. Let's take it from when the wise men enter, shall we, and begin. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We have seen the star in far off eastern lands. We have come to worship him. Stop, stop, wise men number one. Yes. Next time with a little more gusto, please. Right, gusto. All right, children. That concludes your dress rehearsal. We have spent weeks together practicing. Next time I see you, it will be at the big performance. Thank you. I'm oh, so excited. I'm so, 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 so cool. Oh, I can't believe tonight is the nativity play. I'm so nervous. I hope I can get my line right. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be just fine, Emma. I mean, I've only heard you say there's no room at the inn 1,000 times. <laughs> oh, do you think I should put a little more inflection on the word no? No! Oh, yeah, that's good. There's no room at the inn. <laughs> Thanks, Gabby. Any time. Ready for tonight, boys? Uh-huh. Us wise men gonna bring down the house. Oh, yeah. I guess. Oh, come on, Gam. Being a wise man is totally cool. Yeah. Yes. <gasps> Here we go. Hey, Rupert, what's going on? Looks like a pathway is opening up, and you'll have to hurry too. It's opening quickly. Well, you heard Rupert to the airship squad. <laughs> yeah, let's go. This way. Come on. Are you sure, Gabby? No, but let's see what this big stone hallway goes. Okay. <sighs> 
Okay. Does anyone have any idea where this pathway took us? According to my scan, we are somewhere in the Arabian Peninsula. Hmm, that's a long way from the land of Israel. All I know is we're in some sort of desert in the middle of the night, walking through these dark caverns under a palace. Catacombs. What? Catacombs. These aren't caverns, they're catacombs. Hey, Cam. Nice of you to involve yourself in the mission. <sighs> Just ahead! Look! I think it's some sort of a treasure room! Gold! <gasps> what? Oh, hey. what are we waiting for? Come Let's go! On. On. Let's talk. Wait, shh! Someone's there. What do the masters ask for, Jabbar? The finest gold, the purest frankincense, and undiluted myrrh. But... but those are gifts for a king! Indeed, Mateen. I heard them talking. We're going to see the newborn king of the Jews. Can you believe it? Us servants going to see the new king. <gasps> Bless the stars, Jabbar. Hurry, let us bring these gifts to the masters right away. Oh, it's so exciting. I think they're gone. Come on. Wow, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Widgets and wheelies. <laughs> Extreme. There's mountains of treasure! Gold! And jewels! And, and diamonds! Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! Jules! Don't touch that giant red gem! I feel like you've seen that in a movie once. This must be the palace of a very rich man. Hey! What do you think you're doing? There are no children allowed in this treasure room! Take that crown off your head! Sorry. Jabbar, what's going on? Master, these children, I found them here. They must be thieves. <gasps> we're sorry, sir. Honestly, we didn't know where we were going. Hmm, very curious. Shall I take them to the dungeons, Master? <gasps> no, 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 no. I appreciate your loyalty, Jabbar, but no, I don't think that will be necessary. After all, tonight is no ordinary night. Maybe that star is making us all end up in places we didn't expect, hmm? Huh. Um, um, excuse me, sir, but what star are you talking about? What star? Uh, have you not seen it? No, we've been sneaking through the catacombs into your treasure room. <gasps> Quiet! Oh, indeed. Well then, follow me, young ones. Come. This... This is an ancient observatory. Uh, Cameron? Ancient? Dear boy, this is the greatest observatory in the world. Right. Did I say ancient? Silly me. <laughs> Silly indeed. Now, all of you, look out into the heavens. Behold, the star foretold. Whoa. This star is no ordinary celestial body, no, no, no. This star belongs to the Messiah. Now, according to the prophecy, the one who lies under that star will be the king of the Jews, God's people. And if we follow its light to the west, we shall find this newborn ruler. Huh. King of the Jews? That's Jesus! And you're a wise man! I'm gonna be you in a play! A magi! You're a magi! Right? Oh, why, yes, of course. Uh, my fellow Magi and I leave on our journey tonight. We must pay our respects to this king, for we have studied the text of the Jews, and according to the prophecies written there, this infant will one day be their savior. Of course, we won't go empty-handed to welcome this messiah. Master, Mateen and I have already packed the camels with the gifts you and the other masters have asked for. <laughs> It's a caravan. Hey, it's huge. Way bigger than a couple of guys on camels. Thank you, Jabal. Now, children, will you join us? There's always room in the caravan for a few more. Yeah, well, thank you, but we can't. However, I do have one question, if that's okay. Yes. The gifts. Why are you giving gold, frankincense, and myrrh to a baby? <laughs> oh, young man, but those are the gifts fit for a king. Finest gold to honor his royalty. Frankincense, a fine resin from trees to give him worship. And myrrh, a sweet-smelling perfume to bless him. These are our gifts of worship to the Savior, for he is the most deserving. I see. Ah, 
Uh, by the placement of the stars, it looks like I must be going. Uh, the caravan is about to leave. Thank you. Uh, thank you for showing us the star and for telling us about the newborn king. But of course, you may stay and look a bit longer if you wish. And may you be blessed on your journey, wherever it may lead. Children, peace be upon you. This is incredible! I wonder if I played that guy in the nativity. I didn't realize how incredibly cool these wise men were. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, I didn't realize it either, Logan. I mean, on the day of Christmas, when everyone is at home receiving gifts, I never thought about how these three wise men traveled for months to give their gifts yeah. to Jesus. I mean, they left their home and trekked across the desert to worship God. Yeah. I never thought of that either, Cam. I mean, I get so excited for getting gifts, I never think to be like the wise men and give a gift to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Maybe being a wise man in the nativity isn't so bad, huh, Cam? You're right, Wyatt. It's not so bad at all. You know, at home it's Christmas Eve. I know tomorrow each of us will wake up and open wonderful gifts from our families. But tonight, tonight, under this bright star that belongs to Jesus, I want to give a gift. Yeah! yeah. But what kind of gift can we possibly give to God, Cam? We don't have any jewels or treasure. Well, I don't think God really needs gold. Besides, I don't have anything of value like that to give. But if gold is a symbol to honor a king's royalty, then I give him honor in my heart. I get on my knees and bow to Jesus, for he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And I don't have any special oil from trees like frankincense, but if it symbolizes worship, I raise my hands to give Jesus my praise. He deserves all the worship I can possibly give. I may not have any myrrh, but I know that it smells sweet. I bow my head and my heart to Jesus and give him my life so that he can make it sweet too. A blessing to himself and to others. Mm -hmm. I know I don't have any treasure, but I give Jesus my heart in thankfulness. Thank you, Lord, for coming to earth as a baby in a manger so that I could be saved. <sighs> my hands are empty too. But I give them to Jesus to use for his plan. I lay down all the plans in my heart for his. Jesus, tomorrow is Christmas, and we are so thankful for all the wonderful parts that come with it. But tonight, we give you our hearts in honor, praise, and worship. We give back to you because you deserve it all. Amen. 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 Guys, the nativity play was incredible. I've never seen a better group of wise men. Thanks. Mary and the bearded innkeeper were especially impressive as well. <laughs> Aw, thanks. thanks. Great job in the nativity play, son. You too, Gabby. <laughs> thanks, Dad. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you all did so good. It was so nice to get to see my Wyatt's face this year. <laughs> it was so nice to not be in a camel costume. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that a new legendary artifact is now displayed back at the museum. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. It seems like you five. Ah! <laughs> yeah, Jules in it too. Uh, sorry, Jules. I mean, it seems like you six had quite a day. <laughs> a pathway and a performance. Yeah, you all must be exhausted. Maybe we should head in and grab some Christmas cookies. <gasps> yeah! yeah. Oh, actually, if it's all right, I'd like to stay outside a little longer. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Okay, well, uh, don't stay out too long. It's freezing. We'll see you inside. What are we doing out here, Cam? I just... I wanted to look at the stars a little longer. They sure are beautiful. And bright. But nothing like Jesus' star. Nothing can compare to that. I don't think anything is supposed to compare to Jesus' star. Just like nothing can compare to Jesus. Our Savior. Yeah. Remember, you can give back to Jesus this Christmas by giving Him your praise, your worship, and ultimately, your heart. We will see you next time aboard the airship Genesis. Hey, Cadet! We hope you enjoyed our Bible adventure. Stay with us. There's so much more to learn about this story. Oh, Emma, this gingerbread nativity looks really good. This is what you've been doing here in your lab? <laughs> yeah, and thanks. Hey, are those the wise men? How come they're, you know, all the way across the table? They're still traveling. 
Most scholars are pretty certain that the wise men weren't actually there when Jesus was born, but came months later. Oh, you know, I've been wondering, how did the wise men actually know to follow the star and find baby Jesus? Well, the wise men, or magi, studied the stars, and it's possible they knew scripture too. The Bible doesn't exactly say how the magi knew what the star meant, but clearly, God showed them that it was more than, well, just a star. Wow, they must have been pretty smart guys. Uh, hey, I guess that's why we call them wise men. <laughs> yeah, they were definitely wise. But the Bible actually gives us lots of clues about the future. In fact, we could probably take a hint from the wise men. Just like they kept an eye out for Jesus' first coming as a baby in a manger, we can keep an eye out for when Jesus will come back again. Hey, you're right. The Bible is filled with prophecy all about when Jesus is coming back to take us all to heaven. Yeah. By being alert, we can make sure our hearts are ready for his return. Just like the wise men. Mmm, this cookie is good. Hey, you just bit the head off my angel. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Guess you should have been a little more alert. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Dr. J! Hey, Merry Christmas, squad. We're so glad you could be with us. You know, today we learned about how the wise men traveled all the way to baby Jesus so they could give him gifts. As kids, what kind of gifts can we give to God? One of the best gifts we can give to God is our obedience. We can obey him, and the Bible says when we obey God, that's a sign that we love him. And we can also give him the gift of praise and worship and honor. Um, most of all, God wants the gift of our hearts. When we give him our hearts, he gets the best gift. Oh, wow. wow, that's great. Hey, I got a question. Go for it, Wyatt. Well, it's clear that these wise men were really smart guys. I want to know how I can become wise too. The best place for you to become wise is in the scripture. The scripture is the source of great wisdom. And reading the Bible and learning verses in the Bible and learning what the Bible means, that's the best way to find wisdom. If you trust God with that, he will give you wisdom generously. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely going to ask God for his wisdom. Me too. Hey, thanks for answering our questions, Dr. J. Well, anytime you guys have a Merry Christmas, squad. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to dig into this gingerbread Ooh, nativity. <laughs> We've got one more thing to share with our friends. Yeah, we want to leave you with this verse. Deuteronomy 15.10. Give generously to him and do so without a grudging heart. Then, because of this, the Lord, your God, will bless you in all your work and in everything you put your hand to. Remember, God loves to bless those who give. And the best thing you can give him this Christmas is your heart. All right. Now you can eat the gingerbread nativity. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yum! Merry Christmas! Bye! See you next time! Merry Christmas! It's easier than ever to bring Airship Genesis home for the holidays during the Airship Genesis Christmas sale. Nearly every resource from Airship Genesis is on sale now, up to 50% off. The Airship Genesis Kids Study Bible, Blast Off Illustrated Rhyming Book, Mission Quest Kids Devotional, Discovery, Understanding the 66 Books of the Bible for Kids, and available for the first time, CD collections of Season 1 and Season 2 of the Airship Genesis Audio Series. Plus, with any purchase, you'll receive a free metallic gold Airship Genesis ornament and free shipping on every order. Don't miss the Airship Genesis Christmas sale. For more details or to order, go to airshipgenesis.com store.